What's gone into this chilli is 15 kilos of minced beef, 14 kilos of peppers, 10 kilos of fresh tomatoes, all the spices, that's all gone in there. It all starts with a meal. This giant vat of chilli con carne, prepared with love using surplus supermarket food, will feed 160 people today who may otherwise go hungry. There's a great community spirit here. Businesses, we, are, we use a lot of waste. And we've got quite a few food partners who will ring us up and say, do you need anything? Everything that I make is nutritious. That's my main aim, to make sure they've got the nutrition and their bellies are full. Amy and her partner were living in a tent until Good Shepherd helped her find a home. The tent was attacked by rats. Um, we were robbed a couple of times. We were moved several times. If it wasn't for the Good Shepherd, we would have still been in our tent now. It's, it's made things a whole lot easier. It stopped us from starving. The gas and electric going up, food going up, yeah. Clothes going up. It's terrible, man, terrible. So I've come here for a Boston company and Boston service and Boston food. In the first six months of this year, the Good Shepherd Project has seen a 20% increase in demand. They've helped more than 1,000 people, served 12,000 meals and taken in 9.5 tonnes of surplus food from supermarkets, which people who use the meal service can take home with them. The project isn't just about food, though. Dawn helps what she describes as entrenched rough sleepers find a decent place to live. We've got people who've lived on the streets for 10 years plus, drug and alcohol issues, mental health issues, and they've just literally been left. Um, society shuns them, doesn't they? Don't want to, you know, help somebody and think that they're entitled to a home, which everybody is. And you know, it's showing them kind, kindness and compassion, and working with them. And I think that's why we've been so successful in Wolverhampton. People might come to us with food in the first instance, but after that, we can build trust and relationships. Yeah. And our clients can access all kinds of other services from our support workers, positive activities. We've got a service user forum, um, all these kind of things to help people become the best version of themselves to get where they want to be in life. For 50 years, this place has embodied the black country spirit. A friendly welcome to everyone. James Beauville, BBC Midlands Today, Wolverhampton.